Still on matters law, the International Commission of Jurists, ICJ, has condemned the manner in which the Multi-Sectoral Committee on Unsafe Structures is conducting the demolition exercise. ICJ has threatened to go to court if the process shall not be halted and started afresh in accordance with the law. Here's Kelvin O'Gorman. A day after social groups demanded for the immediate resignation of National Lands Commission officers over illegal issuing of title deeds and massive corruption at the Ministry of Land, an act that has seen massive encroachment on imperial land, the International Commission of Jurists, ICJ, has asked the government to hold the ongoing demolition across the country. Led by their chair, Kevin Mogheni, the jurists have directed the Multisectoral Committee on Unsafe Buildings, which comprises of the Kenya Urban Zone Authority, Kura, the National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, Nairobi County, and the Nairobi County Regeneration Team, to refrain from the gorilla approach which is being used to bring down structures. The current uh, measure we are seeing of demolitions is illegal. Is We cannot... We cannot assume in instances where an individual is holding a title you cannot just assume it was public property and you go and start demolishing that title the validity of the title has to be established it has to either be revoked or confirmed according to icj the demolition exercise as well as the mal eviction process is being conducted in an illegal manner and in favor of some individuals which is against the law don't just determine one side the other side you leave it Go to the UK, Nakumat UK, they demolished on one side. If they are creating 30 meter wide riparian, what about the other side of the river? And if then we are going that way, then they need to do the entire stretch of the river. And these people are going to be affected by what is going on. And these rights must be protected. We are not asking that uh, the, 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 the people who have grabbed public land who are built on riparian land should be given or should go scot-free. Our interest is that we must protect both the public properties, riparian land, environmentally safe properties like the Mao Forest Complex, but there should be due process in doing so. The jurists who have threatened to use legal means to settle the demolition disputes have further requested the government to fast track the implementation of the TJRC report on lands, which will immensely help to settle the land problems in the country. But as, a, as an implementer, we have a mandate to ensure that certain things are done in the due process following the rule of law. At the time when the Moi regime, the Kenyatta regime, were coming up with this allocation of public properties. We came up with the provisions, in, especially when we, we agitated for coming up with the constitutional provision to ensure that uh, land is not put or left at the whims of the executive. We have asked that uh, the National Land Act be amended to give the National Land Commission mandate to <coughs> undertake what was recommended in the Ndungu report. And that is in determining the validity or otherwise of the titles that are held by the private persons which were been either alienated by the government or otherwise. As the debate continues to get heated over which structure is on riparian land and which one is not, statistics indicate that 13% of Kenyans don't own any land nor home. The Multisectoral Committee on Unsafe Buildings has already earmarked more than 2,000 buildings for demolition within Nairobi County. Kelvin Ogome, KUTV.